a whole range of support that utilized America's unique capabilities. That's what we're doing. I also ruled out uh, us putting any ground forces uh, in Libya. Uh, we have proceeded consistent with that. There are times where, for example, uh, with our predator capabilities, we have a unique capacity uh, that... On a break. Uh, what I do. No, but then teach them good values, teach them good moral values, teach them about. We're ebbing out of his control or something like that. And uh, anyway, he, he, he swore and, and uh, I don't know if he banned me or not, but uh, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was pretty um, uh, rough, although I'm, I, I did actually. Um, retaliate on that occasion but um, yeah I, 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 and he, he, he refused to take my phone calls for, for months uh, when I said you know what, what on earth could I have done to offend you and somebody told me later that it was that offending sentence and when I saw the word control in the sentence I realised uh, why it offended him but yeah I mean you, you might say it sounds like you know I'm the driving on the madman, but he, <laughs> as, far as, as far as that is concerned, as far as believing that he's the master of his own, own domain is concerned, uh, yeah, he, he does sort of play with the margins of it. Have you known a, another manager like it over the years? Uh, Clough, of course. Uh, <laughs> They would argue that they've already taken further pay cuts and they're working. Mm -hmm. About what the American effort has amounted to, we talked to uh, Conservative MP Mark Pritchard from the Foreign Affairs Select Committee. He says the United States military is doing much, but the reluctance of President Obama for primarily domestic political reasons not to fully commit the United States to the conflict in Libya could unhelpfully prolong the conflict. Well, you've got to take account of domestic political reasons. Remember, this is a president who, what, within 18 months will find himself uh, seeking re-election. Uh, and it's hardly surprising with Iraq as the history and Afghanistan as the current context that... Uh, an enormous, like uh, iceberg, on the iceberg principle, an enormous amount below the surface. Uh, and it's not surprising. And remember, too, uh, uh, Mr. Cameron has taken the climate of the ancient mariner. So this particular case is that there is a time limit for bringing a claim for unlawful deductions in the employment tribunal of three months from the date of the last deduction. So there's a possibility that this claim may be... Glad to hear it. Enjoy this. <laughs>